Good morning guys, it's Jacob Crypto Bow here and we have got a green 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 market once again Everything is looking pretty amazing as Bitcoin is shooting for $43,000 Today we're gonna look at Dogecoin because it looks like it's been undervalued for a long time now And um, this is why I really want to look at it because we're over 80% in correction And it's just been in a constant lol constant down trend and um we'll get more into this in a bit but i do just want to talk about some other things i mean the crypto fear and greed index is starting to look nice for instance we're sitting at 40 at the moment so the market's starting to pick up its confidence starting to get more bullish and we're getting reminders of those euphoric impulses and usually we don't want to feel that level of greed too soon if we could stay in this sort of accumulation supply base for as long as possible before getting these big catapults followed by other sort of retracements it would be amazing but you know you can't say that this quarter might not be a great one the one coming up in april it could certainly well be the old season that we've all been waiting for so dogecoin as we all know this is the coin you know, blast of the past. This is the meme coin that went absolutely crazy. Elon Musk had so much influence over this. And the one thing that I don't like right now, I'm going to be completely honest, is that they've been completely radio silent for over a month nearly. No communication, no recent tweets, nothing. And to me, that shows there's not really much, you know, motivation on their side for obviously being integral and um, staying consistent with their communication but it also makes me think that they're not really got much in the pipeline in terms of updates and everything like that well this is a crypto fear agreed x so we're you know we're at 40 right now dogecoin what can i say it still got ranked 12 in its um market cap dominance and 18 billion market cap i mean that tells you enough how significant this project is. And one crazy thing is that so many Ethereum whales actually hold this particular project. And we've looked at this many, many times before. A lot of Ethereum whales buy Dogecoin. I'm not really sure why, but if they're doing something that we're not, then um, you know maybe there's something that we're missing out on. Dogecoin is a widely accepted token across all market you can find this on a toro for instance i'll plug you down in the description should you wish doge you know ideally we could still probably target a 50 billion market cap you know when you're looking at the next bull run when we get the next bitcoin halvening to cat catalyze what's going on it still could very much happen well you know what i'm seeing here on the dogecoin side of things is this awesome um double bottom reversal pattern where we're getting rejected at this 0.13 nine ish seven ish dollar level and you can see that rejection there where this candle has that slight wick at the top where we've just got a bit of selling pressure because we've been rejected right there and if we do get this double bottom reversal pattern play out well we could expect a nice pump to the upside if we measure the depth of this double bottom it's going to take us up to around the next resistance level at 0 0.17 dollars so you could potentially no financial advice anticipate quite a big pump to the upside maybe even 22 percent over the next few weeks leading into quarter two of 2022 of course we can still face rejection here i mean if we look at the four hour time frame we've got to look out for those kind of bearish signals so we're not really getting a bearish divergence which is good and we're still putting through those higher highs um but of course we can get rejected here and we can still see a series of red candles coming back down to the 0.12 level to retest this diagonal support um, so yeah, it does look like it could potentially be bullish in my opinion, especially if we can consolidate here, hold this particular level and see a blast to the upside. It would look something like, you know, we get an engulfing bull flag and that's when we'd break out to the down or the upside. So if you were to literally monitor this hourly chart, um, you'd be able to gauge which direction it is going. When we go zoom out to that daily time frame once again. So of course we've had a massive correction. I mean, even some would say this is unhealthy, but the correction has been 85%. And even when you pull up that FIB extension and retracement, you can see that we're way below the 0.786 FIB. And uh, we had a big double top position right here, all the way 
in December 2021, we lost that double top, and therefore we lost this massive neckline of support. We also lost the support around here from the 22nd of July at $0.159. So that's why we're in this low right now. And it is possible that we can get this breakthrough to the upside, but it's gonna take a lot of strength from the rest of the market. Um, I really think that is a big, big thing to consider. I also wanna show you guys the total market cap um, chart right here. If I, if I zoom out to the monthly, Will that work? Yeah, that's gonna work. So this is really important. This excludes Bitcoin's you know, market capitalization. So it is $1.1 trillion only. <laughs> um, you can see we had the previous bull market. It was like a descending triangle shape followed by the bear phase, which is this accumulation phase right here, which lasted quite a long time, over two years. And this time around, we've got almost an ascending channel. And I think that's quite important just to look at it. We're bouncing off this lower support every single time. It happened there in February, it happened there in March. Are we potentially gonna get this reversal? Because this is so important, guys. We're retesting the bull market support band. Really, really important on the monthly time frame. On the weekly, we're also retesting the bull market support band, just like we did back in July. So if we're gonna see a repeat of July, it's very, very easy to speculate or say that maybe we're gonna get a pump to the upside like this and it's very easy to draw that in and be like i can't wait for this to happen but you know gotta anticipate the unexpected can happen too where we could drop down retest now that would probably clarify the ending of a bull market maybe but this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing i am seeing the impulse the distribution the impulse the distribution so basically each time we're getting these distributive phases like this highlights all the greed, this highlights all of the extreme fear. So you could probably speculate that the whales are just playing with people's emotions. I can't really make these diagonal, I wish I could, um, but that's the way I'm seeing it right now. So we've got extreme greed at the tops of the channels, and then we have extreme fear down at the lower area right here. And it's just an emotional cycle every single time. You get distribution from the greed, then in the supply phase, you get all the whales accumulating more and more and more. Same again, same again. So it seems like almost this bull market is very much whales playing games with us. And it's big ranges. It's, it's ranges of greed and fear that just keep reoccurring over and over again. Of course, I don't know how long this can happen for, whether we can even break out from the two trillion with a big impulse, or whether we're just gonna stay in this channel for a long time, maybe the rest of 2022. So it would speculate to see an all time high in that case, if we use how many days it took for this particular impulse, which was 126, and assume the same, well, two trillion market cap would have excluding Bitcoin, which would take us to all time high. So definitely keep an eye on your total market cap charts. They can really help signal when a good time to buy or a good time to sell is. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on Doge. Um, you know, I try my best not to make the vids too hype, so they're not a bit too misleading or sensational. Um, and I would love you guys to join the Discord channel right here. You can literally hop in, it's completely free. Find that in the description below. Also just wanna give a little shout out to the Crypto Cools channel. These guys have been putting through some really nice algorithmic trades over the last few days. So um, definitely check out their channel if you wanna get some nice wins, some nice juicy long positions, short positions as well, not financial advice. And um, yeah, sure guys, so subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure you thumbs up as well and leave uh, suggestions. I'd like to know what you'd like to hear from me. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video and see you soon.